probably very important for you guys to know when is it, uh, when should you call 911, okay? You should call, so it's for emergency only. Emergencies are pretty much like a crime in process. If you see a guy that is um, breaking into a house and that means like he's doing it in, it's in the process, call 911, okay? Because he's still there. And when you call 911, make sure you state your name and the address. And if you're able to see who they are, their description, make sure you um, describe them, like what they're wearing, if they have like scars or tattoos. It's very important if they have like distinctive marks, marks that you can recognize or like a big mole right here, like be able to say that on the phone. And try your best to stay calm because when you're on the phone with them, they're already like contacting the officer. There's, they're already sending someone on the way. Oh. Even though they're still talking to you, they're already sending someone on the way because they're multitasking. Mm -hmm. It's very important that when you do see lights and sirens behind you to pull to the right, okay? Wherever you are, try your best to pull to the right and go somewhere safe. If you're on the freeway, try to like go off, um, take an off ramp and go to somewhere safe because even the freeway can be dangerous, right? Even though there might be a lot of like land on that side or like bushes and stuff, the, um, but you need to go somewhere <coughs> safe. And try your best to remain calm. Keep your hands on the steering wheel. The officer will approach you and they'll um, tell you why they pulled you over. Do not reach for anything. So they always want to see your hands are visible. Because even though you guys might be nervous, we are nervous as well. Because we pull over a lot of cars where we don't know what they have. And they're reaching around. What if they pull out a gun and they kill us, you know? So we both have the same fears. You guys, are, you guys don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on, right? So just communicate with them, just listen to their instructions, and please try to stay calm, um, keep your hands visible. If you want to, if your ID or information um, is somewhere else, like in the club department or in your purse, ask them, can I please reach for my stuff in my purse? Do you guys understand that? Make sure you communicate that with them, okay? Um, okay, so what a neighborhood watch is, so if you have a certain neighborhood, there's usually a bunch of, um, the people that live there, they come together and they form a group. And so pretty much they're each other's eyes, right? So if you see something, you'll report it back to the group, and then they have meetings. They have annual, like monthly meetings where they talk about what's going on, and a lot of those meetings, you'll have one of our POP officers come out and uh, address like certain issues, and you can ask them about certain issues and you know follow up with them if you have any further questions. And if you want to know how to start that, you can um, talk to our crime prevention specialist as well. So we don't have so if, if you're interested in starting a neighborhood watch, you can also email either one of these, whichever area you live in, and they'll be able to help you start one. And it's just a bunch of neighbors that live in that same area that are helping each other out, like you're being each other's eyes, and you're having meetings to address certain issues, and then these officers are gonna come out and address those issues with you and tell you how you could uh, um, you know, overcome those issues and what we can do to help you. And then um, other programs we have in the community is youth and community programs. So we have a youth services, and we deal with at-risk kids in the community. So um, a lot of schools have after-school programs. Um, the deputies go out and they work with these kids because if these kids have free time, that allows them to do delinquent things, right? So we try to occupy that free time with like educational activities or things that they can do with law enforcement officers to um, keep them from that delinquency state. 